A pleasant day to everyone. I am Mary Franz Ibanez, and this presentation is for the subject Environmental Science 0175. So for today's discussion, I will tackle about phosphorus cycle. So these are the parts of the presentation. So we have four parts. The first part is the definition of the phosphorus and phosphorus cycle. The second part is the phosphorus needed to make the ATP DNA lipids. The third part is the process which include the steps of the phosphorus cycle. And the last part is the effects. It's human impact of phosphorus cycle. What is phosphorus? It is an important element for all living organisms. It forms a significant part of the structural framework of DNA and RNA. They are also an important component of ATP. Humans contain 80% of phosphorus in teeth and bones. What is phosphorus cycle? It is a very slow process Various weather processes help to wash the phosphorus present in the rocks into the soil. Phosphorus is absorbed by the organic matter in the soil, which is used in the various biological processes. So phosphorus needed to make ATP. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate a molecule that carries energy within cells. It is the main energy currency of the cell. All living things use ATP. The second one is DNA, which stands for dioxyribonucleic acid. It is the repeating part of the DNA backbone is a phosphate group. A phosphate group is attached to the sugar molecule the sugar phosphate backbone is an important structural component of DNA. The third one is the lipids. If we say lipids, it is the combinations of fatty acids and phosphate group make phospholipids ideal for making cellular membranes. The phosphate group is uh, soluble in water and is therefore attracted to water hydropelic. So the fatty acids are insoluble in water and are hydrophobic. A phospholipid membrane contains two layers of phospholipids. So these are the steps of phosphorus cycle. The first one is the weathering so this part happens the weathering so weathering phosphorus is found in the racks in abundance that is why the phosphorus cycle starts in earth's grass and uh, actually phosphorus there is no phosphorus in atmosphere. It is not like the carbon cycle where there is carbon in atmosphere. Also, it is not like the uh, nitrogen cycle where there's nitrogen in the atmosphere. So that is why the phosphorus cycle starts only in the Earth's crust. So the phosphate salts are broken down from the rocks these salts are washed away into the ground, ground where they mix in the soil because of the weathering, because of the rain. So there is sudden broken down from the rocks. So the phosphate salts are broken. The second part is the absorption by plants. So this area happens the absorption by plants after the weathering so the phosphate absorbed by the plants 
The phosphate salts dissolved in water are absorbed by the plants. However, the amount of phosphorus present in the soil is very less. That is why the farmers apply phosphate fertilizers on agriculture land. So the aquatic plants absorb inorganic phosphorus from lower layers of water bodies since phosphate salts do not dissolve in water properly, they affect the plant growth in aquatic ecosystem. So the first one is the uh, weathering. The second one is the absorption by the plants. The third part is the absorption by the uh, animals. So look at this snails. So the snails eat the plant. So there is an absorption by the animals. So it starts with the weathering. So the phosphate goes to uh, the plants and then the animals eat the plants. Okay, so absorption by animals. So the animals absorb phosphorus from plants or by consuming plant eating animals. So there is no absorption by animals if the, the snails or specific animals didn't uh, eat the plant. So the rate of the phosphorus cycle is faster in plants and animals when compared to rocks. It is because um, it is because of the weathering, so there is rain, and then the phosphate goes to the lakes and it lessens while on the plant and then the animals. So the rate of the phosphorus is much faster than compared to rocks. So the last part is the return to the environment through decomposition. So this area happened that the composition we're in, we start in the weathering. It is much easier to start on the weathering and then absorb by the plants and then absorption by the animals. And then if the animals died or the plants died, so the decompose started. So there are much rate of phosphorus in the composition. Number four is the return to the environment through decomposition. When the plants and animals die, they are decomposed by microorganisms. So during this process, the organic form of phosphorus is converted into the inorganic form, which is recycled to soil and water. So soil and water will end up in sediments, sediments and rocks, which will again re release phosphorus by weathering. Thus, the phosphorus cycle starts over. So phosphorus also used in uh, fertilization. It is a form of uh, fertilization. Also, there is there are human impact on phosphorus cycle. A number of human activities, use of fertilizers, artificial eutrophication. Um, if we say eutrophication, it is uh, excessive richness of nutrients in a lake or other bodies of water, frequently due to runoff from land, which causes a dense growth of plant life and that of animal because of lack of oxygen. It is because of too much phosphorus comes from the uh, water or from the aquatic ecosystem. That is why there are a lot of algae in the lake. It is because of that too much phosphorus which is uh, for fertilizer in the aquatic system. So the phosphorus fertilizer increased the level of the phosphorus in the soil. 
Overuse of these fertilizers reduces the fertility of the soil and is also harmful to the microorganism present in the soil. So too much phosphorus is also bad for ecosystems. So when these are washed away into the nearby water bodies, they are also hazardous to aquatic life. So it's, it is not only uh, having an advantage, but also there are also um, a disadvantage, especially in aquatic life. As you can see in the pictures, um, there are a lot of algae. Also during the shipping of food from the farms to cities, so the amount of phosphorus that is washed away in the water causes eutrophications. So this leads to the growth of algae. It is also because of the human activities from the shipping of foods from farms to cities. And then it goes with the water and the aquatic life effect. So that's it. So Thank you for listening. Just remember the four steps, which is the weathering, absorbed by plants, absorbed by animals, and then the composition. So thank you.